Unit number two assignment. A lot of people is having a lot of questions and I'm going to clarify this in a very easy way. So first of all, let's look at this data set. Remember, the data set is a whole, whole thing, right? So in this case, we have a couple of variables. All of these are the variables. So this is a multivariable data set, right? It's not univariable, it's not bivariable, it's multivariable because I have plenty of them. Then we look at the elementary units, elementary unit one, two, only three elementary units. So that's the first classification that I have to do. And then I'm going to give you one example of each one of them so you understand how they work. So in this case, for example, I have number of products also. I have quantitative discrete. Why? Because I'm talking about maybe how many units of hamburgers or, or tacos in this case. So in this case, I cannot break this number. I can. It's quantitative discrete because I cannot break it. I cannot say I saw... I sold three quarters of a hamburger. No, I sold one or two or three or 44,350. I cannot break it. That's why it's a number, it's a quantity, and I cannot break it. Okay, now we have, on the other hand, we have profit per unit. So that means in this case, can I break $3? Yes, I can break it into $2.50, $2.57. I can break all this once infinitely right so that means it's quantitative because it's a number but it's continuous there is continuity so i have a rule and i can break it okay this one i cannot break it now in this case we have qualitative ordinal so in this case is a customer review they say the hamburger is good in words excellent or bad so those are qualities do they have an order yes excellent is the first one good is the second one and bad is the third one so that makes it qualitative ordinal because it's a quality and it's in order now we go to the next variable we have shop locations in this case i have a shop location gangnam incheon suwon so those are somehow qualities in terms of locations so that means it's a is that there are those are words they are not numbers but they do not have any meaning right so in this case it's qualitative so because they have no meaning which one is the most important it doesn't matter i'm just saying random places that the location is so in this case that makes it nominal because here i'm not stating that gangnam or incheon or suwon is better i'm just saying random places and that's all okay then we have here location code you see these numbers we have to be careful of those numbers those are meaningless they are not quantitative they are not qualitative yes you can say well it's a number so yes the problem is does it represent something meaningful of as the number increases it's more meaningful or not can i break it because maybe it has a ruler or so no it's meaningless so we do not have to analyze it that's why that's why i put it in red because to us this means nothing it's just a code that i use now in this case we have time series remember time series we're looking at numbers that are gradually looking at according to the months so in this case for example on the same periods of time i'm looking at january i'm looking at february i'm looking at march so i'm looking month by month that makes it a time series because it's scheduled and i check it over the same period of time which is one month now when i do a cross-sectional i am just looking at numbers randomly this one i'm looking at the sales per manager yes it's the add up of this number this, these numbers are the add up but that doesn't matter let's just focus on the cross-sectional means i just grab that any period and any person in any kind so i just group i i just grabbed a random number okay now time series and cross-sectional for your assignment are not so important i don't care that much because in the end those ones are more complex and we're not going to do this but i think if you are willing to try why not but most importantly like i said i want these numbers to be there okay not all of them but according to the data that or the table that you collected check out if they are this 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 or this also meaningless numbers and if it's multi variate b variate etc etc okay i think that should make it very clear if you still have any questions do submit your questions don't 
make sure this is very very clear because if you don't understand this you will have problems in the future thank you so much and have a good time